So you're joining me on a very wet Monday morning. It is not fit to turn the dog out, or three for that matter. We've got uh, Jeffrey, Stanley and Marley on board. We've come down to Pembrey Country Park, made it back successfully from our journeys from Scotland. The only uh, saving grace for the fact that uh, it's raining is nobody else uh, ventures out when it's like this here. Um, it's that bad, I've had to put my welly blobs on. I'm driving in them, it's not easy. Guaranteed, Jeff and Stanley will go that way, and I can pretty much put a million pound on. Marley will go that way. Hello, my boys. Come to Dada. Bit of a wet one, I'm afraid. So typical uh, Wales weather, it's back raining, it's all I seem to do is talk about the weather, uh, it's uh, cold with it as well. I found me uh, the usual spot back over there, obviously to park the van, so I'll just give you a clean, it's probably uh, it's not the best uh, to film it. I've just been watching a, a YouTube page. Um, Anthea Mella. Uh, it's quite a quite a good uh, channel if you're looking at a page to uh, have a look at. He's standing. He's right over there. Stan, come this way. Come on. Come on, boy. This way. Stan, come. Come on, boy! Come on! Good boy! Come on! Good boy! Come! Good boy! <laughs> so, just looking at uh, planning another trip with my job. I'm quite fortunate that I get uh, four days off on the road that I work. Right, Stan's lost his ball and God knows where it's gone now. I uh, just keep looking for that. Um, so yeah, I was looking at Ireland. I just looked at the ferries. Get a return ferry, which is a three hour crossing there, five hour crossing back. It's 450 quid. It's ridiculous. I mean, we went round Barra, well out to Castle Bay in the van. It's like a hopscotch ticket over to Uist. I mean, open to Barra is a five hour sailing. And then up to Uis and then up to Harris and then over back to uh, Ullapool or Sky. And it's 200 quid. And there's like eight, nine hours worth of sailing. To go there and back to Ireland. Look at Stan, he's chasing that crow over there. He's a 
bugger he is. Come on, boy! Good boy! Come on! Find his bloody ball! Sorry, you're getting wet again, aren't you? Steaming up. So, yeah, 450 quid to sail from uh, Wales to Ireland. It's uh, Irish, Irish Sea Ferries or. What's the other one? I can't remember now. But anyway, they're both pretty much the same. They seem to have got a monopoly on it. But apparently it's due down to the, the demand. There's a lot of freight goes out of there. So the next adventure, I think, is uh, it's probably going to have to be up to uh, Snowdon. Um, Snowdonia National Park. I think I've, I have been. I don't really remember much about it. Well, I think uh, next set of four days off, I think we're going to have to... Uh, kit up and uh, stock up and head off up there I think because uh, I've got adventure now in my my mind having come back from Scotland it's a lot to come down from to just to go back to work and not have anything planned hopefully this Covid which seems to be quite a uh, prominent feature in most people's plans at the moment doesn't scupper the plans with a bit of luck it might uh, it might work if the campsites stay open and you do it responsibly. I think life has to go on around it, and at the moment we're not uh, we're not locked down here, so uh, fingers crossed it stays like that for the for a good few weeks yet, and we just learn to live around the circumstances that we've got, and we do it responsibly. It's uh, it just needs to pick up a bit. Cause in Wales, it doesn't stop raining. Oh. It's lousy. We've had a good run anyway. Um, oh dear. So yeah, I'm still trying to struggle to find a decent coat to be honest with you. This one's a good few years old now. And I'm trying to find a, a coat that has a hood pack away rather than a permanent hood. I'll clean you a second. I've been on every site possible and they don't seem to do them anymore. It seems to be the fashion to have a hood that's flapping around behind you. And uh, it's not my, my cup of tea, that. So if anybody knows of a Gore-Tex jacket for a man, it's around about the, the 200, 300 pound mark, um, it'd be great if you could message me with a stowaway hood, because I can't find one. Grumpy man syndrome. Commandantry County Council have that many roadworks, they've bought bulk discount LED traffic lights. Mm -hmm. Well, they got them at a song. So, when are they not digging the roads up? Three way traffic lights, this. God knows how long this will take. <laughs> 